Good evening, Tug Addicts. Thank you all for coming back and joining us this evening. I uh, apologize for the no volume last night. Looks like I was having a good time, though. I wish there was somebody out there that could read lips and tell me what I was talking about. But uh, the problem was not the computer. I thought I may have had a glitch in it somewhere. The problem was the glitch was me. I want to show you this little thing right here. It's a little fish. And I put it up over the camera so I could focus on where to, to look at to talk to everyone. And when I reapplied it last night, I accidentally put the tape on top of the microphone. And that was the problem. And I went on and on and on before you guys uh, gave me a comment. Matter of fact, I guess Thomas Horn commented here about oh, 20 something minutes ago. He said still no volume. So I guess he was looking at the, the one that we left up. I even left the same shirt. So maybe people will switch over to that and realize we kind of doing a rerun here. Uh, but things happen. This old curmudgeon trying to learn how to get things done. You just turn it over to your grandkids. My, my 10 year old granddaughter, Caroline, the other day was doing code on her computer. I don't even know what code is nowadays, but uh, it's all it's all a work in process. Uh, we're going to uh, start to go on some of the comments now. The first one I want to go was uh, Larry Sawada. Uh, he said it sounds. It says if your sounds on, can't hear your mouth, see nothing but your mouth moving. Yep, we were uh, we we're having difficulty, Larry, but we appreciate you letting us know and saying things. I have a Brian McCullough. He commented happy anniversary a few days ago. If you're looking for ideas on the show, uh, come uh, fishing how to's in Savannah area. Uh, yeah, Brian, we're going to hopefully do that. Boy, what a nasty day today. I thought I might be able to get out and fish some this afternoon, but wife and I had a great evening on uh, Sunday, which I'm going to show you some of the lures here later that we were catching them on. We trolled and only caught a few. And then we turned around and stopped by one dock and it was every other cast about a half an hour before or dark. We end up uh, keeping 14 Threw back about seven, eight more because I didn't want to take any more home. Didn't need them. End up cleaning them, give them to the neighbors. But uh, that's what happens. I mean, you got to move around when you're fishing. You never know what, what you, what's going on and what you're going to catch. Uh, I, I told you the other day, I'd show you the lures. She was catching, she started off catching them with this, uh, rubber bait you see right here with the tail and then she moved over to this tail here and did real well with it that's the one she ended up catching most of them on after we stopped at the dock uh caught a nice two and a half pound red along with the trout uh the other lures that you can use in the, in the savannah area this time of year are these two right here these are christmas tree type screw tail baits that you can get at your local uh tackle shop uh, and I'm making now, which I'm going to put on my site later, and they're unbelievable in Florida. It's a spinner bait, and the reds just seem to love it. It's a great search bait as well. So keep an eye out. We're going to start putting these on our website with the tools of the trade. And the bait that I was using was this one right here. Uh, I got a package today. I don't have it on my desk. I'll give you the name of this bait. They only had one pack left at the local shop that I went into. And you notice when I pull back on it, it's not coming away from the head. I take and put just a tiny drop of super glue, just one small drop. The fellow from David from uh, Z-Man told me you don't need a lot. And I used Loctite. That's what he suggested. Uh, another bait that I really love to, to pitch is the electric chicken. And this is it right here. You guys that don't know about it, that's the color of the electric chicken. And a lot of people don't realize, but these Z-bands are made from a last tech. Look at that. You can stretch that, pull it, break it all day long, and you think, but nope, it won't break. Now, down in Florida, these are great baits. A bluefish or puffer will come up and grab it sometime and bite the tail. But if you'll take and poke a little hole in there with a hot, hot little piece of wire, and I'll show you how to do that later. I slide it up on the jig head with that one small drop of light tight again, light tight rather again. That bait and procure all purpose scent works well for me. I, I fished two days down at my place in Keaton Beach and used the same bait. They just couldn't couldn't tear it apart. Those fish were going nuts. Look at that. That's a great bait, those Z-Man baits. 
Don't mix them with any other baits, though. It'll dissolve uh, very quickly if you put them in. Put them back in original packages. Uh, I ran into a gentleman one day that worked for Z-Man, and he told me that actually they pay more for the package than they do the bait themselves that go in it. They end up buying the company they were, they were buying the packages from to, to save money. Uh, but if, if you look at the back of this, this is a, uh, this one right here, if you can see, is a Strike King Z-Man a bait. And I say Z-Man bait. If you look really close on the back, there's a word right there above my index finger that says Elastec. And they only put out about four colors. And I don't know if they're still, still making these with the uh, Strike King ones or not. I'm assuming that uh, Z-Man makes those bait for Strike King. So uh, any more questions on Bates and Lewis, feel free to comment. We really appreciate all y'all's comments. Uh, going to a, a Perry Van Hook. Uh, he, he made a comment uh, about a week ago. He said, uh, hi, Vince, do some videos of you or you and others going out and catching fish. Well, I got a new GoPro camera. I'm going to be working on that, uh, Perry. says, then do a second one on cleaning and cooking. Just an idea. We have a plans for doing that. They actually have three channels. We want to have a uh, uh, tips from the tug addict cooking and then uh, one on cleaning as well. Uh, says, really glad you're back. I'm an old guy that learned to use the Internet late after you had quit posting the first time. By the way, what happened to the long, flat skinning blade, 14 inches, I'm assuming you're talking about. We still have that. If you go to our website, just type in cleanyourcatch.com or type in tugaddict.com. And if it's the eight inch boning knife that we use to skin, which I use 90% of the time, that's on there as well. But the 14 inch knife, the one I originally started off with was just a flat carbon steel blade with a wooden handle. And they don't make that anymore. And we've gone to a 14 inch blade with dimples in it, it has a urethane type handle on it. So you can check that out on the website. I sold a few of those this week for people who use it to skin larger, broader fillets. Uh, next one was from uh, Victor Kazar. Thank you for the fishing tips. Thank you. Uh, yep. Yeah, we, we try to put a few tips on. We thank you, Victor, for, for giving us a comment. Uh, we have another one here for Blair Montsinger. Love your videos. They're informative and helpful. Uh, have you done a video on cleaning pompano yet? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I, that's one I want to do, Victor. Uh, and it reminds me of a of a fishing trip that I, I took a couple of years ago with my brother. And he loves to go fishing for whiting. I mean, he catches a six-inch whiting. And you think he's got a 20-inch trout. And uh, while we were fishing that day, I ended up catching a two-and-a-half-pound pompano, one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. It's something that here in Savannah, you just don't go out and target. You occasionally catch them on the beach, but they aren't very big. And I don't know. I'll have to check and see what the legal size here at the Falk is in Savannah. It's a very good eating fish. Uh, years ago, when we were shipping a lot to a, a place in Atlanta called the Chatham Club, it was a really high-end restaurant. And uh, we would do the fillets and we wouldn't cut the head off in a sea fish. And we'd cut it behind the eyeballs and then come down to save every bit of the meat. Uh, we had a gentleman one day that came in the fish market and wanted to, to get some whiting, and we were out of whiting, so he decided, he said, well, Mr. Russo, what's that? And my dad said, that was a pompano, Joe, but they're really expensive. And it was the most expensive fish in the case at that time for, per pound. And dad put the fish up there, and he you could look at him and tell that, that boy, that's a lot of money for his height pocket, but, but he told daddy, yeah, go ahead and wrap them up anyway. Dad said, well, how do you want them clean? He said, oh, don't clean them. I don't want you to waste any meat on that. So <laughs> I laughed about that thing. That old guy went out of that place, and I don't know how he cleaned them, how he ate them that night, but he wasn't about to waste any of that pompano meat. For you guys that haven't eaten pompano, uh, it is, it's, it's very good. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, next question I have here is, uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, Bob Gius, he said uh, seven o'clock works for him really well. He's from uh, Long Island, New York. Uh, if you people ever get a chance to go up to uh, 
to New York, try to go through the Fulton Fish Market. The last time I was there was back in probably 84, 85, where the original market was. I mean, it's huge. They wash it down with fire hoses at night. And, and any kind of seafood you want to get is there. Since then, it's been moved to a new location. Uh, maybe, Bob, you can uh, tell us where they have moved it to so we can tell our fans if they ever go up there to make a trip and uh, see the whole operation. It's phenomenal. Uh, you'll see in some of my videos where I got a little broomstick with a bottle cap on it where I stick it down on the tail of the fillets and use the eight inch boning knife to uh, skin my fish with. Actually, I got that idea from uh, the Fulton Fish Market. Uh, it's, it went from uh, mostly like Italians and the Jews started running it. And there was a lot of Orientals that are in there running it now. And I saw some Orientals using that knife with little teeny fillets about this big. And they were using it to stick it on the tail and use it and skin it. And it increased the speed of their skinning really, really fast. Uh, give us a heads up on that if you can tell us where the new market is located. We'd appreciate it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Of other comments. Uh, love your videos. Uh, Blair, Mont Singer, very informed and helpful. Do you have videos on clean the pompano? Yeah, I said, until I just talked about that. Uh, no, but maybe I can catch one and we'll do one for you. Or I can find out if, if my brother gets something in the market. Uh, I want to end up by saying we, we're doing these, these videos to try to pass things along to the different generations. And I, I want to read one from a guy that, that really choked me up and, and uh, my dad used to say, you know, the older I get, the wiser you, the, the older you get some, the wiser I'll become. And uh, my son gave me a book years ago about shit my dad said. And I'm actually in the process of rereading it and, and, and uh, just bringing back old things. And he said, when my son wrote in the front of the book, he said, when I read this book, I thought about you and grandpa. And uh, you, this, the comment was from UK. RT. And, and this, this really got to me. He said, if only I had a dad or a grandfather just like you, sir, I would be a wiser man about people, the way of living, and everything. Buddy, I really appreciate that comment. It still gets me right now. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave on that note. Don't forget to... Uh, like, give some comments, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, give us a thumbs up. And just remember, take a kid fishing and you can't catch him on the couch. Good evening, Tug Addicts, and thanks for watching. Have a good evening. See you next time.